Good evening all. It is a Sunday night. It is the 30th of Augustus 2015. And this is your host, Hillary Clinton, in disguise. No, sorry. Anyway, um, hello. This is me, is it? That's the wife coughing her heart up in you. Uh, I was going to do my Paul Robeson impression, but I won't. Um, that's a lot today. I went out. I don't usually go out on a Sunday. Not only did I go out Sunday, but I was actually up in town by about 11 o'clock. No one else sitting in bed on a Sunday morning. I only got a few things in Asda. There's nothing else to do, really. Um... What did I get in there? Just a few bits and pieces. Uh, rode around a little time. Spent about 30 quid on shopping. So I had one bag in the basket on my mobile. It's good. Another one on the platform between my legs. Now I thought, I can't go far because there's only one toilet up there in Asda's on a Sunday. And you have to dive in the toilet because I... The shop was too heavy for me to cart in and out of the toilet. I have to take a chance that nobody nicks the shopping while I'm in there. I mean, I guess you can do, really. Uh, security guards don't bother like, you know. Um, so, what do I do? I don't just sat around having a coffee and stuff. Um, and I went home. End of story. Funny sort of day, but before then I watched Bri, I watched uh, RV Lucky, and I'm about to watch uh, Life and Half Shell. Half Shell, I still say the wrong one in a minute. I only just noticed it was there because I was watching something else um, on YouTube. Uh, there was a program tonight called on the telly, but I watched it on the computer, I think it was called uh, The Blue Earth. It's about all animals and um, mammals in uh, where was it, Milwaukee? No, it's an old Frank Sinatra record, isn't it? Yeah, it happened in Mon- Monterey, there's a bay near Monterey, and apparently it never used to be, but all the animals from all around the world apparently go there to feed. And they got, uh, you know, they got sharks, whales, dolphins, the lot, seals, great whites. Yeah, I was watching that, that was pretty good. See, my favourite one is the blue whale, but they never, ever devote a lot of time to the blue whale. It's always flaming humpbacks or something, you know, or auger. You know, and the rest of it. Oh, I guess I mean, I was at, so I watched a program on YouTube about the blue whale. See, I got beat. Yeah. That was it. Then I watched on YouTube. I mean, sharks, I mean, sharks, snakes. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Piranhas and it ought to be banned by the government because they're horrible. Don't know why they exist. Sharks are around even before dinosaurs. I mean, they're horrible things. Anyway, they discovered these massive sounds and they reckon the megalodon could still be alive somewhere in that bay. And there's uh, another one called, it's, it's quite big, they called it the submarine. They didn't find that. But this, they found an old Nazi photo, uh, I don't know where about it was, obviously in, in the sea, and there's a Nazi ship and another one. In the background there's this massive great fin, six foot old, and they measured it and they said it must have been absolutely massive, about 60 foot, 63 foot. I forget what the great white shark is, I think it's about 30 foot, and that's normally I think they're 25 foot. So, and then they discovered, well I've heard this before, they heard this great big noise and they reckon it, whatever made it a noise was so big, or it's something like an iceberg scraping on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, it sort of seems to blow it tonight, I don't know. Um, so, it could be a number of things, I suppose. Quite interesting, that's the sort of thing I like watching. If a good documentary like that on the telly, I don't mind watching it. There's an old one on there, not a documentary, my wife got it on, I saw it, oh god, 20 odd years, Morgan Freeman, he's a president in it, he's quite young in it, and it's called Space Impact or something, about a meteorite heading towards Earth as big as New York City, I remember it, I remember the ending and all, 
<coughs> Excuse me, I would have watched that otherwise, but uh, I remembered it. That was Morgan Freeman's quite old now. Yeah. He's quite young in there. Yeah, so not a fantastic day, I suppose. Uh, we went to bed this morning about three o'clock, I forget why now. So it's even more vociferous. So I got up at half past eight this morning and I was out the house at 11. And so up the top, quite strange, yeah. The sun is, uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We never normally go out of the bank already, but I'm trying to engineer the wife in to go into Witherspoons for a meal. But we'll all bring it up because you might want to do the flaming laundry. Wouldn't be the first time on bank holidays. So she's, uh, never go away. I don't, I'm not one of these people like, even if I drove, go away on a Friday, stuck in a jam or something for about three days and then they have to rush back on a Monday morning or something or Tuesday morning to go to work if I was working. I mean the absolute stupidness of it stuck in a traffic jam. I mean where's the holiday relaxation in that? You couldn't exactly chill out could you? Oh what a waste of a bank already. When I was at work it used to be double time and a day off but there you go. It's a long time ago now. Yeah. So that's about all really to report. To report. Um, itchy tash. Yeah, so that's about it. The moment, as I said, then what's happening in the morning? Then what's happening in the next ten minutes, me? So off we jolly will go. And uh, why is there an astronaut on me? And uh, I will see all you good people tomorrow. Be well and keep wearing the great T-shirts. Lucky. Bye for now.